Welcome to the last week of the month. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for February are winding down this week, but mark your calendars for additional upcoming college visits. The Barbizon School representatives will be here at lunch today, and CU Denver will close out February college visits on the 28th. March visits kick off with Paul Mitchell to school on Friday, March 2nd, followed by the reps from Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design on Wednesday, March 7th. If you are interested in learning more about the U.S. Air Force Academy, the USAFA admissions team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held on March 10th from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. The conference is free and is open to all students in grades 6 through 12. Seniors, this is a great scholarship opportunity. Applications are available in the Counseling Center and the Attendance Office. You can also register on the link on the Counseling webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. And lastly, for seniors, guess what Curie Carmody needs from you? That's right, your senior photos. Send them to her email and please make sure you are sending photos of seniors only. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Well, hi there! Hey. What's going on with you? Oh, I'm having the best day ever. I'm so excited. How about what's for lunch on Monday? Uh, you know what I'd like for Monday for lunch? Okay, Hot wings. Hey, I think we can do that. Hot wings with french fries. Hey, that's right up there. How about Tuesday? Mexican. Mexican. Mm. I want a lot of chicken enchiladas. I love it. I love it. That's great. Thanks. We'll have, see you there. Have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Bergen and Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. District talent show auditions will be held this Thursday in the band room from 3 to 5 p.m. They're looking for individual and group performers, bands, dance troops, and drama or comedy routines. It's not America's Got Talent, but you never know who might be watching. Sure. Contact Mrs. Miller in room 750 for more information. The construction trades industry in Colorado Springs has become a booming industry and they need skilled workers right here in town. The Home Builders Association reps would love to tell you more about job options and career opportunities in the lower comments at lunch on Wednesday, February 28th. Find out how you can be a part of this rapidly growing career field. We'll be back in a bit with some club news and fundraiser information, but first here's Jared Grace with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, lads. I'm Jerry Grace with your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports practices start today, and yellow cards are still available in the main office. Make your way to the main office to pick that up so you can make it to practices on time. NJROTC cadets. Remember, outside guest forms for the military ball are due this Thursday, March 1st. Ensure your date can attend by getting that form in on time. The WHS baseball team flapjack fundraiser date has been changed Sunday, March 11th. Ten dollars will get you some tasty flapjacks served by your favorite WHS ball player. Buy your tickets today from any baseball player or stop by the main office. Then head on over to the Applebee's on Highway 8587 from 8 to 10 a.m. on Sunday morning and enjoy a hearty breakfast. We had some technical difficulties with Doc's health tip of the week last Friday, but here she is. So it's about that time of year where we're starting to think about the warm weather. I know it's not here yet, but it's coming. So a lot of us, that means we're thinking about our body, our shapes, and our sizes. So we think about weight loss. Weight loss should be healthy. So I want you guys to know that healthy weight loss is only about a pound or two a week. An average person needs at least 1,200 calories every day. So if you go below this, then you're limiting your metabolism and that's unhealthy for your overall health. So if you wanna lose weight, get out, get active, eat fruits and vegetables, and maintain about one to two pound weight loss per week. Thanks, Doc. That is great advice. Doc will continue her theme of safe weight loss this Friday with physical activity. 
The ultimate fist between star practices last week. Check in with Mr. Nell in room 116 or Mr. Wallace in room 4 for information and practice schedule. Student Senate is looking for some strong warriors for the Warrior Games against Fountain Fort Carson. If you would like to sign up, please see Miss Melton in room 103 starting on Wednesday. Let's keep our winning streak going. And finally, Our Lady Glass hosted the Fort Morgan Mustangs on Friday night and made it to the next round of playoffs. Way to go, ladies. Next up is the Sweet 16 round tomorrow night. Our men's team took on the Skyview Wolverines on Saturday night in Bowers Gym and stranded those Wolverines. Our glads play on Wednesday night in the Sweet 16. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes in their practices and games this week. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Jared. Students, if you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and want or need someone to talk to, you can text the word TALK to this number to reach a mental health professional to share what's on your mind. WHS is a pilot school for the Below the Surface program. It is a free confidential counseling service, especially for teens. Check out the posters on Canvas for more information and send that text. Please seek help if you need it or if you just need someone to listen to your concerns. The Penrose Blood Bank will be here for a blood drive on Thursday, March 15th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you would like to donate donate blood, please sign up in the business office. To donate, you must be at least 16 years old with parent permission. All donors will need to bring a driver's license. Starting this year, if you have a tattoo, you will be able to donate blood. Sign-up sheets are available in the business office and permission slips must be returned by March 9th to Miss Melton in room 103. If you do not bring in your parent consent forms, your donation slot will be given to another student. Ladies attending the military ball, schedule your appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet now with Miss HK in the library or Mrs. Malina in room 111. Remember, the dresses are yours to keep. The Media Center's monthly contest, Celebrating Everyday Heroes, continues. Check out a book this month to enter to win prizes. Don't delay. Prizes have already been awarded to many students. The library also wants to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under the bed. You should also pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. The WHS Data Department will have a bake sale this week in the Science Hall to support their productions of The Addams Family. All baked goods will be under $2. That's all for our news today. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.